And welcome back. Now we are going to put the spotlight on seasonal vegetables and give you tips and tricks to prepare them and cook them. And we promise you, after this, you're going to love cauliflower and even Brussels sprouts. Tiffany takes us to Pick and Save, where she found natural meals and snacks that will carry you through fall and winter with tons of flavor. Take a look. <laughs> Alicia. I'm so excited to meet you because I've learned prior that there's so many dietitians that work with roundies and pick and save yes. and it's the season of the holidays. It's getting a little cooler. Yes, it but is. But we got to make sure that we balance some health with our comfort food, right? So that's Very where important. Simply Roundies comes in. Absolutely. We have our Simply Roundies and Simply Roundies Organic. Both of those brands um, are free of any artificial flavors, colors, and preservatives. And then we go a step further with our organic brand that is certified, uh, USDA certified organic and contains no GMOs. So great options for our families. One of my absolute favorites is our Simply Organic Apple Juices. This is our Honeycrisp and this is our cider. Would you like to sample some? I would love to. Honeycrisps are one of my favorite apples and I love a good organic juice. There you are. And All these right. are great. You can just put on the stove, throw in some cinnamon sticks. It's great for a party pleaser. So sweet. It is, but it's kind of got that crispness too. Absolutely. That's Get fantastic. That flavor. So moving on, we offer um, kidney beans. We offer black beans. These are great for chilies. It's definitely chili season. Mm -hmm. So this is a great base. You can definitely start with meat, ground beef, or you could just do um, a bean chili. That's great too. And not only for chilies, but these are also great for party dips, anything that you're going to be making for football season as yes. well. Yes. And we do have a lot of great baking options mm -hmm. as well. So these are great staples for your baking. We're st starting to get into that season as well. And these are a lot of favorites. Just these three items you can kind of pair with some of our Roundy's organic seasonings and spices. Great option to do some spice nuts for our holiday parties. Sending the kids um, in their lunchbox some great snacks is yes. important for parents. This Absolutely. is a healthy little transport as well. It is. This is one of our favorite items and it's under our Simply Organic Kids line. Uh, we do have both the graham crackers and the chocolate variety. And again, these don't contain any high fructose corn syrup, no GMOs, all organic. It's a resealable top, so it's great just to be able to throw into the bag or throw into a lunchbox. It's a great snack, and not just for kids. Adults <laughs> exactly. can eat adults as well. <laughs> it's true. Usually we're the ones getting exactly. our hand caught in the bag a exactly. little bit more. So if you're going to be talking about kids, um, also lunchboxes, a lot of times you want to change it up and not just have peanut butter. So we ha do mm -hmm. have peanut butters, but we also have an almond butter. We have cashew butters. And then we've got several different flavors of our fruit spreads. Um, this four fruit spread is one of my absolute favorites. This it's is the one great. I have at home. So good. And actually, not just sandwiches, but you could kind of pair that with cheese and crackers for some of the holiday parties as well. Right on top of a chutney. Exactly. Fantastic. There you go. I know that you guys have this really great um, brand ambassador for Roundies that's a food we blogger. Do. Yes. You'll be meeting with Erin. She is great. She's got some great recipes that uh, showcase some of our Simply Roundies items and also a lot of produce, seasonal produce. So excited to meet you, Erin, because Alicia told me you're kind of the food whiz with seasonal vegetables from Pick and Save. So I want to know a little bit how you got started with food blogging. So I have been baking and cooking my entire life, and then I started my blog three and a half years ago, focused around my love of seasonal produce and seasonal ingredients. I started shopping more at farmer's markets, and I really fell in love with the idea of cooking seasonally. Mm -hmm. When you select seasonal fruits and vegetables, they taste the best, and they're the most affordable, so it's really a win-win. Yeah. And that's a big part of the reason why I love shopping at Pick and Save. They're actually the state's number one buyer of local produce. so. I have all of the benefits of finding that local produce that I had at my farmer's market right here in the convenience of my grocery store. It's so easy. And then, right, you don't have to wait. If you've got a recipe you want on Tuesday, you don't have to wait for Friday, Saturday, Sunday to go get some of those vegetables. Exactly. Yeah, it's great. So some of your favorites are, so a few of my favorite winter and fall vegetables are, first of all, Brussels sprouts. Got to roast them for a high temperature, uh -huh. some salt and pepper and olive oil. They caramelize. It's almost like vegetable candy. My mm -hmm. husband makes fun of I me agree. for saying that and then finishes his plate. Exactly. <laughs> what else? I love cauliflower. Cauliflower is a really nice, mild vegetable, which makes it great for a variety of dishes. I just did a slow cooker cauliflower curry with it last week, and I'm actually playing around with a buffalo spice cauliflower for Yum. game day. So sweet potatoes are one of your favorites, and I know you made a couple recipes for us, so what did you make today? So this is a classic mashed sweet potato, but with a little bit of something special extra. A lot of sweet potato recipes call for, mashed potato recipes in general, call for heavy cream, but I found that if you use buttermilk, it makes them just 
as rich and luxurious tasting, but it's a lot better for you, and the tang is really nice too. Okay. I also add a little bit of maple syrup that complements the sweet potato's natural flavor really nicely, and again, helps make them a little kid-friendly too. S uh, sweet potato fries, everybody feels like when you order that, you're being a little healthier. Is it true? Well, when you bake them at home, you certainly <laughs> okay. are. So that is how I did this version here. These are baked sweet potato fries. And then I also do a version with sweet potato chips. I think a lot of us automatically yeah, go for it. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people automatically kind of go for this matchstick shape, mm. which is good. Sweet. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, sweet potato here. This looks like a full meal. This is a full meal. This is actually one of my favorite emergency dinners. It's a classic baked sweet potato, but instead of serving it as a side, with a few quick extras, you can turn it into a main dish. So these are a Southwest style sweet potato. I topped them with some cheddar cheese, mm -hmm. some of our roundies, black beans. You can top it with your favorite salsa, and then some diced avocado, and you are good to go. That look, it really looks fantastic. It's really filling too. All right, I love it. Okay, so these are all really great seasonal ideas. I know people can follow you on your blog as well, and yeah. make sure that they pick up some of these sweet seasonal stuff here at Pick and Save. Thanks so much, Erin. Yeah, thank you. That is so cute. Makes me hungry, too. Love doing stuff that's seasonal. Make sure you stop by your local Pick and Save store on Halloween for their in-store trick-or-treating event. Again, it's happening on Halloween, so it's this coming Saturday, October 31st, from 10 until 2 p.m. at all locations. So there'll be plenty of candy and fun activities throughout the store. Don't forget your costumes, too. For more information, check out pickandsave.com or use the hashtag MyPickAndSave.